How's it going, everybody? I'm IGP, and welcome back to Let's Play Subnautica. Look at this! Status report. Catastrophic hull failure occurred during Aurora Descent, cause unknown. This is pretty neat. So they just implemented a placeholder experimental story mode. Your life pod should be equipped with a storage locker containing some basic survival equipment. So basically, when you start the game now, you're going to be greeted with the Cortana lady telling you everything, and also some text kind of guiding you on what's to do in the game. So that's pretty cool. You have been equipped with environmentally appropriate clothing and a PDA preloaded with the survival program. Yeah, the first text was welcome to the placeholder experimental story mode. Story text will appear here and probably break. More than likely. So I'm assuming as we do stuff, we'll be greeted with some text. Anyway, that's kind of cool. I don't know if it's going to be a separate mode, but since we're in experimental mode right now, it is going to tell us about some things that are being implemented or tested, pretty much. Your vital signs and environments are being monitored and advice will be issued as necessary. For more information, see the included survival booklet. <laughs> the main goal of this episode is actually to go ahead and explore around and try to gather some resources for the Cyclops. Now, the Cyclops is not really necessary considering we can add upgrades to our Seamoth to go to depths probably way below what the Cyclops can eventually go to. And we already have the stuff for the moon pool, so I don't know that it's very necessary. We're just going to kind of gather some resources right now, hopefully find some to be able to build it, but that's a later thing, because right now we can definitely build the moon pool and upgrade this as our main little thing here to explore. But anyway, welcome back to Subnautica. Sorry about that, just had to mention to you guys the possibility of a story mode. That's kind of interesting. Oh, here we go. Your life pod is equipped with a fabricator program to construct tools and render organic substances edible where possible. Very awesome. They uh, they disappear very quickly. Maybe that should be something they work on. Um, but let's see. You know what? Let's make it our goal to actually look and see what the Cyclops needs here to be able to be built. Okay, so we need Plasteel Ingot. We have two lubricants and advanced wiring kits, so no problem there. Enameled glass. I know we need stalker teeth for that. And Plasteel Ingots. So what is... Where's the life uh, escape pod? Here we go. Let's go back over here and look at... Let's see. What is it? Plasteel ingots, right? Plasteel ingot. Okay, titanium ingots and a lithium. Okay, we could definitely do that. I'm not going to build a moon pool just yet. Um, because I don't have anything else. I don't have the Seamoth upgrade module, I don't think. Or maybe, do I? Can I actually do that? I can. Okay, so I just need two titanium, two titanium glass and a computer ship. No problem there. Okay, plasteel ingot. Can I do another one? No, I need lithium. How many more ingots do I have? It's not actually that hard to acquire them. So I have titanium... Three titaniums, I just need one more, and then lithium. So lithium can be found, apparently, in the mushroom forest. So I hope we're going to go ahead and explore around and see if we can, what we can find here. Again, I'm not that familiar with the map, so as I explore, new things will come about. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Also, also, guys, check this out. Look at that. They finally inputted the render of the floater island, so you can actually locate it without getting lost. That's where the, the floater islands are. Isn't that neat? Ah, it's about fucking time they did that. Ah, but I love experimental mode because I have access to this stuff right away and don't have to worry about waiting for a complete update. What the hell was that? Music just stopped. Sorry if it's a little bit loud. Trying to adjust the volume here. God damn it. Trying to adjust the volume here because I know a lot of you guys want to be able to hear the game. Uh, my voice kind of overpowers the game audio, so sorry about that. Hope you enjoy the tweaks. Okay, we need to find lithium. Usually on the side of the cliff, near the mushroom forest. Which again, I don't know where it is exactly. I need to try to familiarize myself with the map. But, if I do that, I feel like it will ruin my experience of exploring. Because, I mean, I literally just came across the uh, sparse reef biome. I've never been there. I mean, I may have passed over it, but I've never actually explored it. And I played a lot of Subnautica, and that's because I didn't know where it was. So, it definitely helps. I think I'm gonna leave it that way. I'll eventually familiarize myself with it, can't make a guarantee. Because it is a huge fucking map. You're loud. You're loud as hell. You are very loud, sir. As a matter of fact... <laughs> it might be a little loud, guys. Hopefully that's a little better. Alright, let's see. Uh, lithium... I'm sure... Okay, here we go. It's getting green, which makes me think we're getting close. Yeah, this is the Sparse Reef. Because the red plants apparently are... Yep, yeah, okay, we're in the Sparse Reef here. Should be able to find some lithium. The last time I left here, there was definitely a lithium run. Oh, shit. I totally forgot about that. Why does my water symbol look like a lubricant right now? 
Passing safe depth. I know. I know, dude. I know. Here we go. Actually, this is the exact same spot I was before. Okay, we'll find some lithium. So I need lithium and I need a little bit more scrap metal. Let's see what we can find over here. I know I'm dehydrated. Here we go. Here's one. So I need three more, and that'd be great. Thermal plant already got that. Three more. Let's see here. No. That's weird. That's cool. I like it. Still kind of uh, exploring it a bit. Finding out some new stuff. Oh, here we go. So one. Let me make sure I pay attention to my oxygen here. So I don't end up dying. You know? Warning. 30 seconds Shh, of oxygen shut up. Remaining. Shut your mouth. I know this. Okay. Maybe just move around. Oh, okay. Apparently if I hit a school of fish, that's damage to the hull. Also, I found out uh, that if the Seamoth dies, or there's too much damage done to it, I die as well. So, I'm gonna probably weld this. Probably the smart thing to do. Before I end up losing it, and some stuff that I probably need. Come on now, 34, 37, yeah, it's going up pretty quickly. I need to eat, and or drink. Aha! Disinfected water. Thank you. I got enough of that. So, can't make... I need to make sure I get out of here quickly and make some food. Probably gather a few of these. What are you? Reginald. Okay, cool. How many lithium do I have? Uh, lithium, two. Okay. I need th two more, because I already made one. Two more, and we should be good. Two more, we'll be good. Come on, man. There's got to be some more out here. I know I'm getting close on oxygen. I need a rebreather like bad. Uh, come on. I know. I know this. I'm just trying to get some lithium real quick. If you would shut your trap. Oh, I can eat it raw though, right? Right? But did you die though? Okay. I can definitely eat it raw. Just gonna. F there we go. Salty. Oh, here we go. So, one more after this. We should be good. Um, this place is beautiful. Here we go. Alright, so we got the lithium. What else do we need for that damn thing? Uh, enameled glass, stalker teeth, and glass. So we need a bunch of quartz. I should gather a bunch of quartz over here. Where was the one place they said had a lot of quartz? Oh, what place was that? Was it the, um... It wasn't the Grand Reef. What was it? There was something, but I mean, I can just gather as many as I can over here. Quartz. Uh, I can carry two more. I need a bunch. <laughs> I know I'm gonna need a bunch. I could always come back here. There seems to be a lot of quartz. Okay. What could I drop, actually? Oh, shit. Let me just get back. Let me just get back before I end up dying. Some stupid kind of death. So it hasn't told me anything new in the story mode. But, uh, I guess I just need to do stuff for that to happen. Uh, maybe that's what, uh, the little, the little thing was that popped up. It said, uh, you know, uh, Biome Grand Reef or something like that. Or the, the Biome Kelp Forest or something like that. It just popped up as I entered that, uh, that, that one biome. So, that might be what it is. Maybe that's what that was. It was, like, the beginning stages of the story mode being implemented. So, we're on our way back here. Hello, Reef Beck. Oh, hello, Shark. I don't like you. Oh, man. This game is still so fun to explore. I do I do know... We had a discussion, actually, I think in the comment section, about the exper... Uh, not the experimental. What am I trying to say here? Whoa. Oh, is this what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Please be. I know. Yes! 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 Oh, I'd be able to get magnet. Ho! Oh, okay. I'd be able to get a uh, magnetite, I think, from down here. But actually, I don't think I need that anymore. Because now the floater islands are exactly where. You know, they're obvious where they are. I could just travel towards it. Compass is nice, but I guess it's also good to have a compass to, uh. You know, be able to 
to go back and forth to certain places that you haven't marked the beacon yet. But, uh, you know, with beacons and everything, I feel like I wouldn't have an issue with that. I don't know. Maybe there's another importance to compass, to the compass that I don't know of. <sighs> Probably. Okay. So, let's make these, uh, plasteel ingots real quick. Let's make the plasteel ingots. Boom. Uh, boom. I think I can do that, right? Okay, let's make a glass, too, while I'm at it. I need five of them, and then stalker teeth, eventually. Oh, I was told I can hold shift while crafting, and I can keep the menu open. That's neat. So, three glass. Plasteel ingot. Mmm, plasteel ingot. And one more. Plasteel ingot. Okay. So, you have four of them. Let me go ahead and store those away down here in the locker. And then I can try to find some more titanium and stalker teeth, I guess. Hello. Thank you for having me. I feel special. Okay, two lubricants I'll save away. I need the advanced wiring kit. Um, plasteel ingots. I need more. I need more stuff. Let's build something. Can I build a locker? Damn it. Two titanium and a quartz. Do I not have titanium in here? Yes. And a quartz? No quartz. Let's find a quartz. I need another locker. Need another locker. Like I need another hole in the head. Uh, okay. I remember last time having trouble with these quartz. Alright, buddy. Give me a damn quartz. Like, real soon. Yeah, there we go. Right away. I'm much better at finding quartz in this episode. Woohoo! How many batteries do I have? Like, none, probably? Two power cells, but no damn batteries. How convenient. Conveniently convenient. Ah, man. Alright, let's get in here. Blip! Blip, blip. Okay, uh... Whoa, it shifted. What happened? What was I doing? Oh! Uh, yeah. Locker, locker, that's right. Uh, do another locker here. And we'll call this, uh, and we don't have to call anything yet. We're not that organized just yet. Okay. So, store away the plasteel ingots. Um... Bleach, I can turn that into water. I definitely need some food. Uh, aluminum oxide crystal. I'll just store this stuff away right now. That. Silver ore. Uh, yep. Lithium. Oh, wait. Yeah, I need that lithium for another titanium. Alright, so let's gather some titanium. We just need a few. And they should just fall around here. They kind of just respawn, I feel like. Titanium is abundant in certain areas. Definitely behind the, uh, the aurora. It's always a good place to look for them. Here's one. So we need... I think, like, three. Because it's four each, yeah. One, two... No, actually, we have enough, because I have some in that locker. That was it. Ha-ha! <laughs> now it's just stalker teeth. So we gotta go into the, uh, kelp forest biome. And try to pick them up as they grab scrap metal. Always gonna be a fun day. Okay, let me grab one, two. Should be good to extract out these. And one more. Bam. Okay, and then we can make a, uh, titanium ingot. I keep clicking out, sorry. And then a plasteel ingot. So we got our five plasteels. Let's, let me grab plasteel here. Advanced wiring kit and two lubricants. So we're gonna put that in here. Plasteel ingots. There we go, we got our five. Awesome. Okay, so we need, uh... Six more glass and five stalker teeth. I think we can do that, but I first need some food. Thank you. Where are all the good old peepers? I was told to cook, uh, was it Reginald? Or something like that? Because they're like the most nutritious and delicious ones? I don't know. I have no idea. I've always found peeper to be my number one go-to for, uh, food consumption. Hey, come back here. Come back here, you dick. Come here. Uh, come on. There we go. Alright, let me get a few more Reginalds here. Oh, scrap metal. That always works. Uh, I think, I think this is good. Should be good, just to hold myself over for a bit. Don't need a lot, just need enough. Okay, let's go over here. Man, it's a little laggy today. Cooked Gary Fish. And we'll do another cooked Gary fish. Right? I had two? Yes. Okay. Let's eat those. What do we get? Thirteen. 
That kind of sucks, but we'll be fine. We will be fine. Let's get in the Seamoth, head over to the Kelp Forest. Try to find some Stalker Teeth. And Quartz! Vital signs nominal. Uh, immediate survival priority satisfied. Updating and reporting priority list. Oh, I have a list. Survival priority report. Okay, how do I access that? Okay, locate other survivors. And a no no survivors detected. Survey the environment with a drone. Or wait, wait, done. I surveyed the environment with the drone. Minister first aid if appropriate. No major injury sustained. Access food and water availability and decide on rations done. Check life pod for damage and repair as appropriate. Wow. Send automated short range distress call. I did that? Did I? Gather and take stock of available materials in progress. If possible, locate a long range communication relay and rebroadcast your distress signal. Wow. Use survival equipment to render the local environment habitable. Maintain physical and psychological health until rescue. Wow. That is awesome. So that actually kind of gives us a glimpse of what may come. It says NA, no survivors detected. That's uh, So the possibility of survivors being here. Oh, this is going to be so awesome. I wonder if that's going to be part of the story. Maybe you have to gather as many survivors wherever they've been thrown out to in this world. Gather them, heal them back up. And bring them with me in my escape. Maybe it'll judge me on how many I bring. But that is pretty amazing. Okay, I need a stalker somewhere. Would very much enjoy a stalker. Game's a little laggy today. Must be some of the optimizations they do. It goes in and out. Sometimes I'm like, damn, they did some hella improvements. Here we go. Okay, let's try to keep him away though. I don't want him, uh, I should gather a peeper. Would be nice. I don't have another battery, though. <sighs> stalker teeth, stalker teeth. Please give me a stalker tooth. I would love one. One of them there stalker teeth. Oh, he detected me. Hi. Goodbye. I just need your teeth. Just need your teeth. Usually they said that, uh, they would have to be grabbing scrap metal. So maybe this is not the right area. Where's my life bite? Oh my god! Yeah, I know. I'm coming. How did my Seamoth get all the way over here? I don't recall traveling that far, but I guess I did. Okay. It's almost nighttime, too. This is gonna be damn near impossible. Okay, let's find a better- okay, there's a- Scrap metal. Does someone want to grab that? There are like no stalker teeth. Yeah, but I think the idea of a story mode is pretty cool. I don't know if it might be the best idea to implement that into the already survival mode. Survival mode, I feel like they could give a different premise per mode. You know what I mean? Like creative mode. In creative mode, the story is you know, you've already in terraformed this planet and inhabited it, and the Aurora didn't actually crash on it, we landed on it. So now we can build upon it and help the human survive. And then for survival is kind of like, well, we're here and we're awaiting people to come and inhabit it. In the meantime, I have to survive and maintain the, the place for everyone to be able to inhabit once they get here. And then like story mode is, well, we crashed, but we can't inhabit this and we should leave. And I had to gather all my people around. You know. Oh, I need that quartz, definitely. And just escape, you know? That that seems that seems like they could give a different story per mode. Here we go, here's a stalker tooth. Awesome. That's one. Ah, two. Very nice. Uh-oh. He's coming at me. Go away, dick. Now, does he drop a tooth when he hits me? I don't know. That would be very awesome. Is that one laying in the... That's not. Okay. Yeah, they're usually easy to see over here. I feel like this is the perfect area for the stalkers to drop their teeth. And we'll, uh... Check around. Here's some more. There we go. Nope, that's not one. But again, there's scrap metal. So, so is he gonna say, fuck it and try to get these? Alright, let's get out real quick. 
That light's too bright on the on the uh, sea moth there, so it's kind of actually hard to see. Okay, hold on. No, aha! Three of them. We need. To oh God! There's tooth. There's a tooth. He dropped a tooth. Give me the tooth. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. He's gonna eat me. He's gonna flip and eat me. Don't want him to. Don't want him to. Eh, get back to safety. Get in there. Oh, darling, we're safe. Yeah. Oh, this is where he grabs. This is where he drops tooth, right? Yeah. So he doesn't seem. Oh. Oh, fuck yes. Hell yes, son. Okay. You're a dick. Fucking ass. Get out of here. I hope you die. Hope you die. Prick. I'm just kidding. He's just doing what he's supposed to be doing. Trying to survive and all. Awesome. Okay, so we got that. And I have one quartz, so we just need five more quartz. And we'll have all the material we need to build the dam. Thingamabobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobobob